All right. Hello, hello, and welcome to today's live training, Passive Income with Content. We are going to be talking about your passive income plan. These are the exact things that I do to grow my business. This is ex exactly how I started back in 2010 and what I did. You can put these little things into action and watch your business. Even if you do something that doesn't generate money, that's okay too, because you're learning at the same time. And you'll see that that strategy is also very effective as well. As always, if you're watching the replay on YouTube, please go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. What's the plan? The plan is is to make some sort of regimen, to make some sort of plan of action of what you're actually going to do to create income for your business. The whole thing is, is that you can look at it in a time. I like to look at it in a time frame. When I first started, I was publishing one book a week. Okay, so that was my goal. Every single week, I was publishing one book. You can have maybe, maybe you don't have as much time to do that. Maybe you want to publish one book a month. Maybe you want to publish five pillowcases per day, create five pillowcases per day and put them up for sale. You know, maybe you want to look at it as like a whole year and say, I want to put out, you know, 50 books or 50 journals or 50 pillowcases, whatever it is in a year, and then divide up your time to make sure that you get that done in whatever time period that you choose. That's kind of the goal, especially with low content stuff. And that's kind of what you want to do to make a plan to be able to stick to it and actually get it done. And the most important thing, whatever it is you choose, however direction you want to take this, you want to make sure that it's achievable, right? So if it's something like publishing a book a week and you don't have the time to do it, then that's not something that that's feasible in your schedule, right? So don't set yourself up to fail. Like for me in this year, I wanted to do five pillow cases per day. So I was doing that and I came up with a system to publish five pillowcases per day. And I came up with my system for creating those pillowcases and outsourcing the, you know, keyword research, outsourcing the graphic. There's always going to be, whenever you deal with low content, there's always going to be the content. There's always going to be keyword research. There's always going to be the titling. There's always going to be graphics. That's like a given. You have to decide what you want to do yourself and what you want to outsource. And some things can't always be outsourced. Some things can. All things maybe in whatever formula or thing that you choose to do for your for this kind of low content project, you can do it all yourself if you have the time, split it half and half, do some yourself, do some outsourcing it, come up with a system. And when I say come up with a system, I really want to direct you to devdrum.com slash T CGP workshop. So this is the workshop that you can register for. It's kind of like an ongoing thing and it is recorded, pre-recorded, but you can interact and ask me questions and that those questions go right to my help desk. Um, essentially what I teach ultimately in the tiny content giant profits course is coming up with how you actually implement whatever it is you're creating for low content stuff. So if something is high content, like writing a book, that's not low content, right? So you're probably not going to be able to write one book a week. Maybe you can write one book a month. I don't know, depending on how much time you have, or maybe you want to do one book a year, depending on who you are, what kind of author you are, what, what stuff you're selling in the background. But with low content, you can develop more of a plan and a strategy to publishing a ton of stuff because most of the time this is a numbers game. You can get good at keyword research and things like that, really know, you know what people one in the marketplace and make good sales there but ultimately if you're somebody who just wants to like do 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 and see what works you want to publish a lot of stuff and you want to publish on some kind of schedule where you're doing 
X number of things per day, per week, per month, whatever it is, but and sticking to that. And it's very easy to stick to it if you have a system. And if you have one thing that you're doing over and over and over and over again, like almost like the thinking part kind of goes out the window, which is what ultimately we want. We don't want this to be very hard. And that's what I talk about a lot in this uh, workshop. If you haven't seen it, I definitely would direct you to watch it and you can watch it on your own time. We talk about um, how I distill the low content passive income method down to five steps, how to get results without spending a single dime on paid ads. I don't talk about paid ads at all. So you don't need paid ads to make this work. How to test your idea quickly, case studies of people who've used my methods to create their own tiny content profit empires so you know what I'm teaching works, the 10 types of tiny content that are incredibly profitable and how you can create them fast. And examples of tiny content I've created once that has generated anywhere from 2000 all the way up to 50,000 and even more six figures. So this stuff is exciting. I love it. And the reason why I came up with this idea today for this topic is because I'm traveling all week. And if I didn't have some type of plan or system to have money generating and have money flowing into my business, then that would be pretty silly of me to like go away and, and then have everything stop. It would be not a good situation. That's really the topic for today. And that's at devdrum.com slash TCGP workshop. Pan is in my sewing pillowcases. No, actually print pillowcases uh, are something that I do print on demand where you can put actual sayings and images or whatever you want on pillowcases and then you put them up on Amazon and you sell them. Okay? And they're really, really simple to make. And I talk about that in, in the workshop. Yeah. So in the end, what I would like you to do is to think about what you want to do in terms of low content, like whether it's journals, whether it's print on demand, whether it's, you know, everything that I teach inside, you'll see what the 10 tiny content types all right, of ideas are that are highly profitable. Pick one, you say, I'm going to stick to this schedule, choose your schedule, and then go ahead and do it. So that's it for today. Um, I loved hanging with you. I hope this helped. Go check out uh, debdrum.com slash TCGP workshop, and you will uh, definitely see more of what I'm talking about. All right, have a great rest of your day, everyone. Bye-bye. 